Going to show you today how to make one of the all-time Spanish classics, which is paella. Very, very simple to make. Now, we've got a nice big paella pot here, which is absolutely essential. On the left-hand side, I've also got a little pot of chicken stock ready. So, crucial to the whole process that you have this ready in advance. You could maybe go down to your local supermarket and find like an organic pre-made stock. If you don't have that, you could also use chicken stock cubes, make up your own stock, whatever you have. So, to start off the whole process, into our big pot goes pure olive oil from Don Carlos. Generous, generous amount. We want it to coat the bottom of the whole pan. In that goes. Perfect for absorbing all those flavors that we're gonna add. It really is an incredibly flavorsome dish. So first thing going in there is our garlic. We're also gonna add some chopped red onion. I'm just gently going to simmer those off for a couple of minutes. Now as that starts to simmer off, I'm already getting some great flavours off that garlic. Next in goes our chorizo. So it's going to release all that lovely, strong, pungent, spicy flavour from it. And at this stage we're also going to add in our red peppers. So we'll just keep cooking those for another couple of minutes until they all start to soften up and all those flavours release. So now you can see all that lovely flavor starting to emerge from our chorizo, already starting to smell wonderful. At this stage, I'm gonna add my saffron, which is this really strong, pungent flavor. We're gonna add that into our chicken stock, so as it really spreads through the entire paella. Now, I'm also gonna add in my bacon. So it's been two minutes, we'll add in our paprika. Next is our tomatoes. Now, next ingredient that we're gonna add in is our rice. Using paella rice today, you could just as easily use long grain rice if you can't find that. And all we're gonna do now at this stage is coat that rice by stirring it. So we're coating it with all that lovely olive oil, all the great flavors that are in there. And you wanna keep it constantly moving at this stage. So now once the rice is evenly coated, we're gonna add our white wine. And then it's time to add our saffron and chicken stock mix. Now I've added that in, I'm gonna turn the temperature right down real low, and we're gonna leave that now for about 10, 15 minutes until that rice starts to tender up, and then we can go about adding all our seafood and finishing off that gorgeous paella. So now that's been cooking for a good 15 minutes, you can see just how well it's come together, really absorbed all that lovely flavor from the saffron and the color as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our seafood. So first in there goes our prawns, just lay them around the outside. Not gonna take a massive amount of time to cook, maybe two or three minutes on each side. Also gonna lay our fish in there. Could of course take the skin off if you prefer it that way. Just like that nice little texture. Our squid. And at the same time, we're actually gonna cook our mussels in a separate pot. So just a little drizzle of our pure olive oil from Don Carlos. In that goes. I'm gonna keep these very simple. So just some onions, a little drop of white wine. And the white wine is actually gonna create steam, which will open up our mussels in no time whatsoever. Now you can see those mussels opening up. Just a little tip, if the mussel doesn't actually open up, it means that it's bad, so you can discard it. So these ones have all opened up, and I'm just gonna pop them straight up onto our paella. And what I'm actually also gonna do is I'm just gonna pour that juice in, because there's loads of lovely flavors from both the mussels, the white wine, and our onions. So spread those around evenly. Temperature is right down at the moment. We're gonna cook the fish for about two minutes on that side. 
flip them back over, and then we're pretty much ready to serve. So you can see tons of flavors coming in there. We're just going to finish it with our green ingredients because we want them to stay green at the very end. So in with a little bit of chopped parsley and some little peas, which really do bring the whole dish to life. We're going to season it up with a little bit of pepper and just stir that up. And really now it's just a case of turning that heat off, letting it cool down ever so slightly and then just bringing that dish out and setting it in the middle of the table, family style. I think you'll agree it's an absolutely gorgeous traditional Spanish paella.